tell me what's on the tape. Certain statements about... What in the... What? That can't be true. You think I'm a racist? No. I remember when it happened and everybody was talking about it. You know, my coffee shop, everybody was talking about it. And then there were some people that I met uh, who I knew who, had lived, who were living or had lived in their buildings, you know, as tenants. And I said, what were they, you know, what's he like? And uh, uh, most of it was not so complimentary, but some of it was surprising, like, oh, he can be very nice, and he's actually sometimes funny. And I thought, well, you know, I can believe that, you know, human. Uh, so, but that was all, because I didn't really follow basketball. I mean, I watch it, like the playoffs, I'm kind of watching a little bit. I enjoy it, but I'm not a, I'm not a real fan, you know, so. Uh, that's all I really knew, you know. I, I, oh, I read the tapes. Tapes came out, and I thought, ooh, this is not good. You know, this may end badly. I need to show them that I have the power. Are you stupid or something? Don't bring black people to my games. When the scandal took place, I was living in L.A. I had just moved here, and there was a lot of talk about the as, you know, a certain kind of person, but there's so much to her. She's a human being, of course, so it was really fulfilling to get to explore that. Oh, hi, Mrs. Sterling. We're going down to parking. Where are you off to? Um, uh, Mr. Sterling has the dentist, and then we're visiting grant candidates for the Sterling Foundation. I play Shelley Sterling, wife of Donald Sterling, played by Ed O'Neill, and I am a, what everyone thinks is the quiet little, uh, elderly wife who suddenly has enough of what she's had to put up with with the scandal and this girlfriend who's muscled her way in played by Cleopatra by the way who I adore who's also Australian so it's tribal um, yes yeah, so uh, and Shelley Sterling uh, in the end comes out on top because she says hang on you've lost the team but I'm a half owner and I'm selling it for two billion dollars so there dude is literally saying that I'm a piece of property I'm your owner you're not my owner every second counts players love me we literally hate you Someone asked me, what do I think the nucleus of this story is? And I do very much think it's about Doc and his players and what they had to endure. I think the other parts of it are, are very entertaining, um, but also um, the, there's a deeper core to what these people had to go through. And I think it's all worth seeing and very funny at times, but very dark too, a dark humor. And, and I think the, the leaders of this show, Ed O'Neill, Jackie Weaver, Lawrence Fishburne, they carried it very well. Want more entertainment news? Follow On the Red Carpet on social and subscribe on YouTube.